Right, so Connor, you've done what most people wouldn't do. You've stuck a six cylinder in a small car. Tell us a bit about it. Um, I started it four years ago in the backyard, in the shed, just on the hoist, and came up with the idea of chucking a six cylinder in it. So you always wanted the six, you never- Yeah, always a never six. Never gonna put an SR20 in it? Nah, no, never. Um, thought about 2J, RV, I like the sound of these. They're simple, and yeah. Just went from there, we just yeah. went crazy with it. Now I hear there's a bit of an interesting story how you did the firewall. Yes, that- you Went down to Bunnings? Down to Bunnings, bought a, a Sherlock wheelbarrow. Yeah? Yep, that's Makes a sense when you look there. at it. No, they do it in the States a lot, so yeah. just thought, yeah, it works. And I didn't want that square cut look. Yeah, she so, fits yeah. in there pretty nicely. You've obviously got, yeah, it's you haven't there. had to put the radio to the boot or anything? No, nah, I thought about it, mm. but didn't want to do that. It is tight, but if it's... One aspect I like that you've stuck with the single cam RV30. Everyone overseas says, oh, why don't you put a twin cam on it? Yeah. But I don't know. I reckon that this is how the engine came out. I sort of like them. That's it, yeah. In the original form. Yep. It was more just a, a fitting issue as well. Yeah, yeah. Definitely true. struggle a bit more. That makes enough power for what this is anyways. 100%. Now tell us a bit about the inside. Tunnel vision. Yeah, it's he, yeah it's he, he built the whole engine. Nitto rods, SPS, pistons. Um, oversized valves, everything. Standard crank though still. Okay. Which okay. is our weak link. But oh, they're still pretty good. We're gonna put a billet in it. Yeah. Send it, yep. Turbo side, you got a Garrett on there? Yep, GDX 42 with a stainless rear housing, six boost manifold, all turbo smart gear. So yeah, she's she's working. Mm-hmm, yep. and the inlet side, looks pretty uh, trick over there. Yeah, that's a CPC full billet inlet. And that, yeah, that's a that's a work about that thing. Same thing, turbo smart blow off and into a pro series plasma man cooler. Okay, so you got all the good uh, good parts on it. Hey, what does it weigh, curiously? Have you, you don't know? I'm gonna say 1200. 1200. Around there. And what were these standard? 860 something. Okay. So they, but yeah, now that I've put a lot of weight into it, but I think it needed it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And people don't see all the stuff you put in, obviously, like underneath. Yeah, that's it. All underneath done, full four link, everything, glide cage and then you add a six and weight starts to come up for sure yeah people seem to think cars get lighter when you modify them but no, uh, that's really the case definitely not so the fuel side of it tell us a bit about that what have, what have you done there um we've got prp's mechanical fuel pump that thing works flawlessly yeah too much pressure to yeah. deal with but no we're, ne we're never going to run out so yeah we've got prp's fuel pump Helltech elite 2500 yep running the show and we haven't run out of anything just yet. Just yet, and you're on pump E85? Yeah, just E85, just pump, yep. All right, well, let's get it on the dyno and let's see uh, see how she goes. Let's go. So I take it you don't need to take this off for you to get in? No, not me, <laughs> just for him. This is as bad as trying to get into the back seat of Quinton's Tirana. I know these things don't happen, you know, overnight. How long did this take to build? Uh, just over four years. Yeah, okay. Yep. I started it when I was 16 years old and I'm 20. Just yeah, turned okay. 20 not long yeah, ago. Yeah, well done. I, I like the fact you've still got the original colour too. Yep, kept it all. Yep. Factory just repainted the bay. My uncle went through a lot of troubles to do that. I noticed that. And I, I have to admit, I don't think I've seen too many RB rocket covers in beige. <laughs> no, I just thought, you know what, I'll, instead of going black, 
I do like black, but let's just keep it with the, the factory color. Yeah. Sort of just yeah. tie it in a bit better. Is there anyone you'd like to thank at all? Um, definitely, definitely dad. He's been so helpful. Just my biggest supporter. My girlfriend, same thing, biggest supporter. The whole family, pretty much. My uncle for painting it. Jason for countless hours of work. There's a couple of people out there that I'd like to thank, but there's too many to thank. It's been a long build. <laughs> and you've done a lot of this yourself, yeah? Pretty much everything other yeah. than build yeah. the engine and the cage. That's awesome. That's awesome. So this is your first attempt at a... Very first. First street car. You've, yeah. uh, you've set the bar pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yep. No, I did all the rear end, all underneath, all the chassis work, everything. Just yeah. from the garage. Yeah, pretty much. Unreal. But yeah. No, it's turned out really well.